there. Um, I'm Lynn Martin with Martin Ulysses, and I have Trevor from Whole Foods Arbor Trails here in Austin with me. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you for inviting me. Um, Whole Foods is one of those places that I love. I love being in Austin. It is a great store, and I'm excited today that you can share a little bit with us just about Whole Foods in general and about you here and what you do. Awesome. Done. Uh, so I became a wine buyer here uh, in July of last year. Uh, it's been uh, almost, well, about half a year now. Um, I've been drinking wine my entire life, enjoying it. Uh, my parents are Italian. Uh, it's been in our family since day one. Uh, it was just very natural for me. I've uh, managed coffee and wine bars in Colorado, uh, Washington. It just seemed very uh, like the next step. Uh, for, for Whole Foods. Uh, I started here actually uh, a year ago uh, as a bartender and our, our bar is very beer centric, uh, at least for this market in, in, in Austin, uh, but I tried to kind of cater toward uh, wines on tap, wines in bottles, like wine education, and there's actually a, a pretty substantial wine scene here in Austin as well. Well that's what I was, that was a, the other interesting thing is that there's a, a lot of people I don't think know that there's wine, there's actually a wine bar here where you can come and sit, drink, and eat, and have fun. There, there is, and there actually are wine bars in every Whole Foods, um, well not every Whole Foods, most Whole Foods across the nation. Uh, certain states have uh, full liquor licenses, they can sell, you know, hard alcohol, uh, and then they actually have like cocktails and whatnot, and they mixologists be on the bar, but most Whole Foods in the states that allow it have at least a wine and beer license, and uh, wine is is everywhere, and there's actually a nationwide uh, wine program for what we call the Wine Boar, which actually is being rebranded and re-released to something new huh. without the Boar label, which makes not really a lot of sense. I'm like, which, what? <laughs> which is, and everyone says that it's not great marketing so far, so far. <laughs> but uh, it's basically uh, wine growlers, like 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 beer growlers, wines to go. So you have wine on tap. Uh, it's 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 economical. Okay. It lasts for forever. Uh, it just makes a lot of sense and it's great quality wine, and you get that in vessels of uh, 12 ounce, 32 ounce, and 64 ounce. So you find a wine that you like of four or six or eight tap varietals, and you say, I want to take that home, and you buy a wine growler, just like a beer growler, and you fill it, and it's like 50 bucks for, you know, 64 ounces of awesome wine. That almost makes me think of Italy, when you go with your big old, you know. Correct, yeah. Yeah, yeah. just, okay, fill it up, and then leave. Very much the same principle, which okay, has not really been explored much in the States before this movement but it's 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 everywhere now well it seems like Whole Foods to me one of the things that I love is that it is always so uh forward in what they're doing. They, they, they open up stores all the time. I see so many people who come in here at all different ages um, doing the shopping but interested in the wines and your wine program and beer program seem to be like, I mean, how many wines do you guys have? It seems like you have quite a, a lot that, at least even in this, this one. I, I can <laughs> give you a uh, numbers of thousands. So we have a, a ridiculous amount. And, and, and this store, as, as I'm sure you, you can see in the pictures, is, is, is a small, small store in the Austin market. There are the Domain and, and, uh, and Downtown Lamar stores about triple our size. But it's, it's pretty substantial wine selection and it's kind of a little bit of everything that everyone knows plus a lot of really fun, unique Obscure, kind of local uh -huh. stuff and, and also just obscure stuff. So yeah, just Lots of wine, to answer your question, I guess, vaguely. Lots of wine and all different, yes. And um, Tell me a little bit about some of the programs that you guys do, things that are coming up that are maybe things that you want to let people know about. Uh, we have wine tastings, we have wine dinners uh, all the time. We actually have our uh, tasting tutorials on Thursdays, uh, every week on Thursday. And that's the specialty department as a whole, which is wine, beer, uh, chocolate, cheese, coffee, uh, just kind of like the peripheral the enjoyment sector of you know, specialty food. Um, every Thursday and every fourth of those is, is, is a wine event. Uh, we have wine dinners, we have wine pairings, we do uh, wine tastings almost every weekend uh, with like specific cheese pairings. Um, we have our, our certified cheese specialists actually taste the wine, pick a cheese from their European cheese coffin of like really nice aged cheeses to go like with the wines and we'll, we'll present those on the weekends, usually noon to three, three to six, somewhere in that. Uh, uh, time range based on obviously games. Right, right. But, uh, All the local things that are going on. Well, it sounds very fun. I'm looking forward to um, doing some tasting.
tastings myself coming in here learning about some new wines as well. But I uh, certainly appreciate you taking the time today and introducing us to your store. Most and uh, I'm Lynn with Martin Ulysses with Trevor. Thank you very much. Cheers.